Hey folks, this is Greg Brown from Coswell Collectibles. Um, we are here at the Kentuckiana G.I. Joe Toy Expo. I'm here with Steve Stovall, good friend and co-promoter of the show. Co-promoter Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Um, we'll have Larry a little bit later, but we wanted to talk to Steve first. And uh, Steve, why don't you give us a little bit of the uh, the backstory of the origins of the show and what your involvement's been with it. Well, we've, uh, we've been to several conventions and we're collectors for a long time in a, a group of the local club and we kept talking about, we need to do a show. And so eventually, um, uh, Larry was the, I guess, the, the force behind it and said, well, you know, we've got to just pick a date and do it. Right. And so we, for our first show, we, we picked a date and uh, set it up and it was with probably three months out or something like that. And we said, okay, so the first one's gonna be small. We know that. We gave all the tables away for free. We had 13 tables total in the first show. And, uh, and then had free admission for the first show just to build it right. so that we could build on and say, hey, then the next time it's gonna be the second annual and the third and whatnot. And so we built the show as the show that we'd wanna attend. So we'd been to enough shows and said, you know, what things do we like that makes the show fun for the dealers, fun for the attendees. and and whatnot, and we incorporated those. And the things that we didn't like, we said, okay, well, we're not gonna do that. Right. That's, that's, it's not fun, it doesn't add to it. And so we said, you know, we want it to be a good time for people to get together and enjoy uh, G.I. Joe. So when you come to one of these shows, like like this weekend, if somebody comes, uh, excuse me, you know, today, if somebody comes to this show, uh, what, what should they expect as far as variety of dealers? Oh, we have all sorts of dealers. We're, we're more G.I. Joe centric, and okay. hence the name of the show, the Kentuckiana G.I. Joe Toy Expo. But the toy part is there, there's other toys here too, and you'll see something, you'll see things from the vintage era of G.I. Joe back from the 60s and 70s and whatnot to the to the three and three quarter area where you get the, uh, um, in the 80s and whatnot into the current stuff. And then there's a large uh, selection of uh, custom makers and, and the, uh, make stuff for G.I. Joe now that, that Hasbro's not actually promoting a lot of the 12-inch G.I. Joe, but if you want to get 12-inch you know, uniforms or 12-inch accessories, mm -hmm. we, we've got dealers that, that can custom make that stuff and present it here. So it's, it's a good variety. Now you're talking about customizers. Do you have anything to showcase those types of customizers at the show? Well, we do a, a contest so that the uh, people that come to the show can enter and, and uh, uh, you know, do their custom figures. And we do a custom diorama, which you guys were the sponsors of this year. And, uh, we're happy to do that. Yeah. And uh, you know, so we let the, the people that come to the show do that and some of the folks enter it. And then we also try to do a, um, a custom set each year of uh, uniforms and whatnot. And then we encourage our other dealers and vendors, you know, if they want to make something special and debut it at our show, to go ahead and do that and then we'll announce it on our uh, website and our Facebook page and uh, let people know that, hey, this is the first time you can get some of this stuff. So we, we like to do that. Also getting back, I know you guys did a lot of exclusives this year. Yes. Um, how'd you do? We did well. We, uh, I think most of them, at least at this point in time, I think we're sold out of most of them and maybe have one or two left of a few of them. So if there's some left, uh, is there a way some people who did make the show, if they could reach out and... They can contact us through our Facebook page or through our uh, through the website, which is uh, www.kygiajo.com, and uh, send us a message and uh, let us know. Final question is, do you have an idea when next year's show will be? We have a good idea. After, you know, and that was another thing that we learned in the process when scheduling the show to consider things and whatnot. We're always going to be the last Saturday in July. Okay. So next year will be July 30th. Awesome. 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 Great news. I'll mark it down. All right. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Thank All you. right. Glad to be here. Well, Larry, thanks for uh, inviting us to the show. We had a great time. Uh, before you leave for the day, we wanted to ask you a little bit about your involvement with the show since its inception. So if you could give us a little five minute. Five minutes? Okay, I'll give you the full rope. Okay, all right. No, this is our eighth annual G.I. Joe show. Every July, eight years now, record setting attendance this year. People from all over the country, literally from Miami, California, Arizona, Houston, Texas, Ennis, Texas, I mean, really, the world begins and ends in the G.I. Joe world in Ennis, Texas. Who would have thought? I didn't thunk it, but it did. It happened. It happened. So this started about, you said about eight years ago? Steve Stovall and I put together our first ever, according to Tim Goble, first ever show eight years ago. Really? Mm -hmm. And it's been growing ever since? It has, yeah. We moved over here five or six years ago, 
And uh, we just had the main ballroom, now we're in all three ballrooms. Okay. Talk to us about Winterfest. Winterfest uh, was my idea. I named it Winterfest. Steve Stovall, he, you know, he's great in the behind the scenes. And Steve is like, well, let's just call it January show. And I'm like, you know, that's really kind of pitiful, Steve. So as, new, as usual, I have to sell the sizzle, not the steak. So it was Winterfest. So January, our second Winterfest will be coming up this year, January 22. Gotcha. It's a more small, cozy, ember glow fire. We just do the, uh, Metro, the uh, Triple Crown room. The other two rooms, that's for the show in July. Super Bowl event. Awesome. But it's on the books. Go to G.I. Joe Facebook, G.I. Joe, K.Y. G.I. Joe Club. Right here. There we go. K.Y. G.I. Joe.com. It's really the answer to all your questions that you would ever have. Gold investing, G.I. Joe's love. Go to kygijoe.com. It's the answer to the questions you're afraid to ask. You'll find him there. Thank you, Larry. You're welcome, Gregory. <laughs>